He sees his wife outside of the window. She digs a place to make a bed for plants. He sees a plant in a pot. He helps her dig. The name is Oasis Garden. She draws a heart in the soil. Mr. Cleveland writes his name inside a heart. He was dirty, but he was happy because she was happy. One day she started to draw blood. She had trouble drinking water. She would get out of bed and walk outside. He would have to run after her. He holds her hand and sings to her. She curses at him. She would argue with him. When they get inside the house, she looks at the pictures. Smiles. She dies. He cries. He doesn't go anywhere. He just sits in the backyard underneath the oasis platter. I'm his neighbor. I try to talk to him. He would not listen to me. He just tries to waste away. One day I brought a plant to him. I reach out my hand to help him up. He hesitates. I give it to him. He takes a plant from me. We start digging. Cleveland sings the song he sang to his wife. Here you go. There is just one thing I need to know.
When I met up with my dad for the first time, I was shocked. That day I went to the park with him and we had fun. After we came back, my dad had dropped me off at home and I had realized I had built a relationship bridge with my dad. And it made me feel sad. It made me turn to rap, music, drugs, and alcohol. My mom never talked to him again. I felt like my heart was broken and something was missing. I worried if I was going to see my dad again. I was separated from my dad for years and went through the storm. My mom was mad at him for so long. Then my mom was depressed. It felt bad. It felt old. It felt left out. I learned I can't depend on anyone but my mom, so I'm cool with it. I hold the name Sam, the legacy, the identity, Sam.